everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 on Goldcrest Valley. Today is going to be a very busy day. We have got to work on our cows which we don't yet own but we're going to very soon. Now as you can see we have £129,000 which sounds like quite a lot but considering the price of the animals in Farming Simulator 17 it isn't really that much at all so it's not going to go very far. We're definitely not going to spend all of it because that would be ridiculous. I think what I'm planning on doing is just filling the trailer once and then maybe another day we'll get another load of animals or whatever it is we decide to spend money on. So uh, yeah, the priority today is to at least get the, would it be 9 or 10 cows? I'm not sure exactly. However many will fit into a trailer, bedded down and fed. That is the plan. So uh, yes, back to the farm. Okay, here we are. So what I've got behind here is the case tractor which is already running we then have the trailer here with the grass bells on thank you to everybody who let me know your opinion on uh, the, uh, the stacking skills I know they weren't great but the general response seems to be it was okay in farming simulator this is fine but in real life it wouldn't be because of the space between the bales they sort of roll about and break free of the straps so yeah thank you for that it was very helpful I always like to know how I'm actually doing. Usually not too well, uh, but that's just the way it is. Anyway, right, so this is going to go to... I was going to say the farm with the cows, but then I've just thought we don't actually have... I don't think we do, a feed mixer. I don't think we do. So I'm going to have to put it over here. And we will remove it. Then going to put the bell spike on. What we need to do is create a very good mix in the mixed ration. But to do that, we obviously need to get the mixture itself. And it is this one just here, the Silo King Trailed Line Duo 1814. It's not very expensive, but a lot of things to do with having the animal farm is just expensive. Each thing doesn't really cost too much, but it accumulates. Because you need so much stuff, it makes the animal farming, I wouldn't say not worth it, but quite tough. The reason why I wouldn't say it's not worth it is because when you actually have established the animal farm, there is a lot of money in it. Especially, I think, the pigs, because they reproduce like there is no tomorrow. I think you get, well, I'm assuming that if you have about 100 pigs, you get a new one every two hours or so. Yeah, saying like, you get a new one as if it's coming out of the factory. A new one is born every two hours. Maybe even more frequently than that. It could even be every hour or even every half an hour. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check the server. Because there is uh, more animals on there. Over 100, I think, on the Sosnovica one. So, uh, it will be interesting. Anyway, yes, we have once again bought something in this episode. Every episode I seem to buy something. It's not because I want to, it's because we have to. I can't do the cows without giving them total mixed ration. They just wouldn't really appreciate it. Oh yeah, and also thank you to the people who have said it, numerous people who have said this. To give the, the cows any kind of grass bale, you don't shred it, apparently you just give it to them. So... I would have probably gone with the approach of shredding it and totally wasting it. So yeah, thank you very much for the heads up. Right, we can let the traffic go again, creating a bit of a, a backlog. Now I hope this tractor has got enough power, it certainly should do. I wouldn't have thought it would take too much power to turn this, we can check. I suppose the physical size is what's big. What does it actually require? This one, 85 horsepower, that's fine. The case is 145. So, yep, over to the main yard. I think we'll mix it there, instead of taking it all to the cow farm. It would just be a lot quicker. And then, once this is mixed, we will get another tractor with the animal trailer, stick them onto follow me, then head over to Mary's farm, buy the cows, and then go over to the cow farm, which is not actually very far from here. 
yeah, it's just sort of southeast of uh, southwest, I should say. How awful! Southwest of the spinnery. Yeah, so it's somewhere over there, not too far. Here we are. So I haven't really looked into too much depth as to what they actually do require. I know that they take total mixed ration, but other stuff I have to check. So we put it about here. That should be okay. And yeah, we've got silage bells here. There is actually two grass bells here, so technically we don't need that trailer of grass bells. Um, yes, I forgot that was there. We'll load them up. We're also going to have to go and get a straw bale as well. They're over at the pig farm. Yeah, so let me just get the camera right. Okay, so that is a very bad pickup. It's okay. It's only going to here. Right, so that is the first one. Oh, right, this is not going to go too well, so please do expect the entire pile to fall down. Getting these things down is not too easy. Turn those beacons off. Oh, no, it's alright. Because you can, uh, I've just remembered, yeah, you can actually spike the bales from the side now. In 15, you couldn't do that. So that makes it much, much easier. And yeah, you, apparently you don't technically need straw, but we probably should just put one bale in. I think we should do. So that means going up to the top farm. I'll just quickly blast up there. Pick a bale up and then put it into the mixer. Don't think we have any here. I should have really kept some here. Bit of a gloomy day. The sky is very dark. Plenty of them. Uh, we really should take the water tanker out. It's another thing we're going to need. Uh, it's just, yeah. As we can pick them up from the side, we might as well. But yes, we do need to have the water tanker, so I might as well take it. We'll probably fill it up from the Northern Lodge. Quite amusing, turning up in our tractor and tanker. Yes, I think to save any faffing about here, I'll just go around the other way. Or at least spin around here. Yeah, I'll turn around here. There we go. Saves him to try and turn this bend. It's quite a, a tight area there. Now, if we wanted to, we could fill it up from that fill point. I don't know how it has enough water in it, though, to fill up a tanker, but it does. It's a magical fountain. But we won't do. We're not going to spend money on that. go and what's that looking like is it about 66% full 75% full right so clearly yeah it's showing too much straw one bale was too much so I think we should probably pad it out with go with silage could do or grass I don't suppose it actually matters Put the grass one in. We'll see what it does. Anything just to sort of counterbalance the uh, amount of straw which is in there. Really not too good at picking up these. There we go. So what does that look like? Probably awful. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. It's actually within the limits. Probably not enough silage. But we can't really control it as it's just a bale. It's just the amount that a bale gives you. So, yeah. It will do. They'll be happy. Which is the main point. 
So, what we need to do is we need to take the mixer and the tanker and the animal trailer over to the cow farm. Just trying to decide whether we should come back for these two. I'm not too sure. We're not going to need the bell spike. So I'll take the bell spike off. Right, okay. So that's all good. So, where? It's over here, I think. Yes, we used the fence tractor. Uh, it's a bit dirty, this tractor, but it should be okay. I don't think it's going to break down because of the dirt. That would be a bit weird. The tractor breaks down over driving through a field. It gets slightly mucky. It does actually need this amount of horsepower because it's such a big trailer. And cows aren't exactly light. So, yeah, I think actually we will just take everything. It'd be quite amusing watching the tail back of not only our own vehicles, but also the traffic behind. So, oh, oh, what down there? There's our truck down there. Yes, this will be uh, very amusing. And of course, we need to make sure there is a big enough offset, otherwise they'll be crashing. And I'm sure the cows won't appreciate it if they are crashed into. Right, it's okay. I'll just set the ahead distance to 15. Brilliant, okay. Off we go then to Mary's farm. Chances are we won't be able to complete the cows today. As long as we give them some water and the silage, or mixed ration, they'll be fine. This is probably a good time just to have a look and see exactly what they require. Water is the priority and power food? Is it is the total mixed ration class as power food? I don't know. That'd be very interesting to see. It is the almighty power food. Right, beacons required for this. We are the hazard of the road. Hopefully they can keep up. Oh, yep, yeah, and hopefully I can drive on the right side of the road. Oh, dear. It's just like a clown farm. Where the clowns running a farm. Right. Okay, it's a big road, but anything could happen. Where should we cut up? Should we? No, we'll continue. We'll keep going. We're going through the inside lane. Oh, that is scary, having those two on the road. Luckily, this is where we get off. So we'll leave here. We have to navigate the field just up here. I forget the field number. What field number is it? Field number 31. Quite a big field, actually. And then at the top of there is Mary's Farm. We've got helper C and D today. I think it was C before. C wasn't very good. They're very slow. They probably won't even need to stop. We'll have loaded up by the time we get here. So this is the place. Emerson's Livestock Market. The cows are, of course, the most expensive. How many can we fit in the trailer? Six. And six is £30,000. Well, it's something we're just going to have to do, but that money is scary. We can't keep buying stuff. Or we could just sell some pigs, but that would probably not be the best idea, as if we leave it with the amount that we have now, they'll reproduce a lot quicker, and then long term, we'll get more money. And no, those tractors didn't even need to stop. We picked up the cows in that time. Is there six in there? Yes, there is, and it looks very uncomfortable. So the place we're going to is just up here. I'm just trying to think of the best way to go. Yeah, I think if we stay off the roads, we'll be okay. Go over the top of field 29, over the top of field 28, and then we'll get there.
That's something to note actually. If you're looking for a place to get water, this place here on the other, other side, obviously, not this side, uh, is quite a gentle sort of beach area. So you could fill the water tank a bit from there. And that is noticeable from the map. There's also a place very close to fill number 20 on the other side. So yeah, the Goldcrest Northern Lodge isn't the only place and they probably won't appreciate you turning up with tractors and tankers filling up the water while their residents are sunbathing next to the pool. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway because it's just hilarious. Except there are never, there's never anyone there. No one is ever sat next to the pool. Maybe it's not a very nice place. Or maybe other farmers have been turning up with their tractors and tankers. Who knows? Scaring off the guests. Oh, right, okay, here we are. We can see the place right at the end of here. So, yeah, looking forward to it. It's just, I'm not really, uh, well, we don't have much money anymore, which isn't very good. So, which is the place where you fill up the cows? Is it just around here? Yes, I think it is. Looks like it. Okay, so we need to lower it down. Peekaboo. And yeah, if we just go onto the menu, we need to press R. Unload them all. Confirm. And there they are. So, now all we need to do is give them some feed and water. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sure the sixth will be somewhere. There it is. Just, uh taking a look to see what their new home looks like. So here is the feed and that really needs to go back around again. Yeah, that's okay. I'm hoping it's going to allow us to unload it. it certainly should do. Yeah, that's okay. Try and get it in the trough as much as we can do. Chances are it's going to take quite a bit of this, although it is only six cows, so not as much as if we had something like 25 cows. But it's taken it all. Let's see what it actually registers that as. It is power food, and it actually doubles up as silage and hay by the look of things. So we've done two things in one go. And the cows are the only animals which we own which are clean. I wouldn't really expect the pigs to be clean, but they do need to be <laughs> cleaned off anyway. Water, and then tomorrow, straw and grass will be done. So turn it off here, get into this tractor. Does it have anything in it? I can't remember. It does, 84%. But we'll fill this up anyway, because we don't want to leave it empty. Now where do you fill up the water. Ah, I see it over there. Yeah, really gloomy. I don't know why it's not sunny at all. Well, the forecast is for sun, but the current weather is sort of uh, sunny breaks in the clouds. Right, is that going to work? Okay, that's, that's weird. You'd have thought that would be the place for water. Clearly not. It must be over the other side. For all of you who have done this already, you must be laughing watching me do all this wrong. I should have done the cows by now. I have taken a while. It is now, what is it, episode 33? Yeah, it should have been about episode 10. But it's finding the money. Right, you've got to accept the water here. Good. And sort of anticipating it taking everything. Let's just see. Okay, it didn't. So, uh, pretty much got everything wrong there. Anyway, we'll fill it up. Get it to 100%. And then we'll probably actually take it back to the other farm. As the pigs are going to require it as well. And the sheep. back onto the road which is dangerous, very dangerous. 
These pedestrians are very brave, walking around with us about. I have run over no end of them. Not intentionally, just they walk out in front of you. This is our turning here. And yeah, that goes down to the Northern Lodge. So I think really, I've done more than what I was hoping to do today. I thought it would take longer. Things have run very smoothly. So that's all good. Yeah. The grass bells which we've got, we'll try it tomorrow. I'll just sort of wait for more comments on it, just to sort of confirm that all you do is take the bale to them and put it into the sort of the uh, feeding trough area. So does it just turn from a solid bale into feed in the trough without having to shred it? Because that is sort of what I'm looking for. I was all for shredding it, but if it doesn't want you to, then fair enough. Yep, nobody's here. We've scared them all away. Should be almost enough to fill it up. There we go. Got to be on the right implement. And we're done. So that pretty much concludes today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow, like I say, we'll be working on the cows again. We'll just give them their grass and their straw. Probably a 10 minute job nothing more and yeah if we if we have any arable work to do we'll do that as well but I suppose the pigs do need to be tended to as well so and the sheep anything which needs to be done we will do it it's gonna be like a not a finishing off day but just a sort of general maintenance day this series won't end until episode 50 so yeah plenty more farming to do on the Goldcrest Valley it has been a very good map very in-depth detail just reminds me of FSO 809 and at the time they were just fantastic and in their own way they still are but how the detail has changed is just phenomenal just incredible I think what I'll do is as we're so close to the sheep I'll take this up to them they haven't had water for a while, so chances are they're going to require it, so we'll give it to them. Yeah, I do regret not using the train when I did that logging. It would have been quite interesting. Didn't really think of it. Do you get any more money for it, or is it just the fun of uh, using the train? It used to be a bonus. I'm assuming it still is. Let's see what they take. Wow, nothing at all. Uh, so we'll park this up here for next time. And is there any storage here? Yes, there is. Good. We'll just tidy this up. It doesn't look very neat just leaving it there. And of course, the other tractor as well. Sort it out. Wow, that is very flush with the wall. Much closer than anticipated. Yeah, this seems like a nice area. And we've got the silage pits here. So, if we do any silage, then this is where it can come to. The cows have seen the food. Quite naturally. I don't blame them. Some good quality produce there. Power food. And also, yeah, the silo king, it might as well stay here. Seems like the pigs aren't too bothered about mixed ration, it's mainly the cows. So we've really bought this implement just for the cows. And that's it. Job done. Hopefully in tomorrow's episode it's going to be a bit brighter as well. The sun should break through. Indeed. So just taking a look in depth here, 
we did hear about this. In fact, Lely, or Lely, however you want to pronounce it, was, I think, the first company ever to um, announce FS17. They didn't say a date for when it was going to be out, but yeah, it was quite a while ago. Was it about July 15? I think it was. Um, because they said that they were going to be in the game, and of course they are. So very nice to have all these different little features in the sheds. The Lely Astronaut. And what they call the Lely Luna. Is that everything? Yeah, I think so. They're, they're basically scratches, I think, aren't they? For the cows to scratch on. I don't really know much at all about livestock farming, so I'm sure a lot of real-life livestock farmers are watching, and you'll be able to correct me if I'm wrong. But, yep, yeah, that is it. They do need straw, though. Yeah, straw is a priority. Tomorrow, we'll get all of that done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and we will return tomorrow with the next episode. Until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.